Hi everyone, welcome to SeniorGolfSource.com. My name is Brett Francisco, Certified PGA Instructor. And before we get into today's video, please like and subscribe, comment below if you have any topics that you would love for us to cover. I'd be happy to do so. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about hitting a low lofted hybrid. So like many of you golfers out there, hitting hybrids can either be a blessing or it can be a curse. The reason that we're hitting the hybrids is because we simply just don't feel it's necessary to play those low lofted irons because on those miss hits, it's very detrimental to your distance and control. When we place a hybrid in our hands, we typically have that loft that would be in that three, four or five iron, but some people just, they, it doesn't work. Some people will have a really tough time hitting hybrids. So in today's video, I'm going to help you understand your setup and how it's going to affect your ability to strike the ball cleanly. So I'm going to step back in frame here and uh, what we're, we're going to do is cover the body position and we're going to look at it from a face on um, position and then we'll look at it from down the line and I'll hit some shots for you. So here I actually have a three hybrid. Um, it's a strong one. It's, it's 19 degrees in loft and what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about the arc of the swing. Okay. Even though I have a hybrid in my hands, it's a very shallow angle of attack for that, lo that lower lofted hybrid. If I were playing a higher lofted hybrid, we would be talking about a different angle of attack. But just like the iron, it's just going to be like the hybrid. Just because there's a bulkier head in your hands doesn't mean that we swing everything like a fairway would. This is going to be as close as I can get to swinging like a fairway would with my three hybrid. But if I'm hitting that five, six, and in some cases there are combo sets that have hybrids throughout the bag, you should be treating a hybrid just like an iron. So if I were to swap this out with a three iron, objectively, I don't really want to make an excessive amount of ground contact here. I want it to be what I like to view as a, a light bruising of the ground, just scraping of the ground after I strike the ball to get that clean, consistent, powerful shot. So your setup is really going to dictate your ability to do so. In order to get shallow, one of the first things I want to do here is play the ball more forward in my stance. Okay. Now, if we look at my lead arm, my lead arm doesn't really have that much forward press in it. Okay. Like I would maybe my, my sand wedge, nine, eight, seven, six, the ball's more centered in my stance. I'm going to have more forward press, but with this club, I'm going to have very little, if any. And what that's going to do is allow me room to get that extension so I can sweep the ball off of the surface and get that launch and desirable shot pattern that I want. If you look at my posture from my spine, looking down top to bottom, you'll notice that I'm tilted away from target. And what that's going to do, folks, that's going to allow me to gain access to turning through the ball. A lot of people will play the ball forward in their stance and they'll also tilt their, for, their, their spine forward. Well, that doesn't give me any room to really finish a swing. So if you ever find yourself swinging your long clubs and you really don't have a follow through, I want you to pay attention to those two positions. One, that lead arm to shaft position. From your perspective, it probably looks like a pretty straight line between the two. And then the second is going to be my tilt. I want to maintain that tilt even when I go back and come through, you'll see that that tilt stayed in position and that's what's going to allow me to get that extension. I'm going to be able to follow through completely getting that weight transfer and maximizing my potential for, for gains in distance. So really that's the two simple concepts, shaft position with lead arm and spine tilt. Okay, if we're looking at it now from down the line perspective and I were to hit this shot, I'm here in position. What we want to do 
is make sure that we're swinging on plane coming down. So one of the easiest things that I've, I've worked with seniors on is the positioning of the trail elbow. A lot of people let that elbow fly away from their body and it, it makes them become a little bit more steep than they should. But if that right elbow stays closer to your right side in the downswing, you're going to create that greater potential to swing in nice and shallow into impact. If it comes off, gets extended, you're going to get steep and basically you're chopping wood at this point. So let's shallow things out simply by paying attention to the positioning of that trail elbow in the downswing. And that's gonna help things shallow out. So now I'll go ahead and hit a shot for you. So I've got the shaft position with my lead arm. I've got my spine tilt. And now I'm gonna focus, when I get to the top of my backswing, it's fine for that elbow to be away, okay? It should be. But as I come down, I wanna feel that elbow nice and snug to my right side. That way I can get that extension and follow through nice and shallow. And in doing so, things worked out quite well for me there. Uh, pretty predictable ball flight, things worked out well. Total of 222, so I'm a happy camper on the golf course with that. Now we're going to do a high lofted hybrid. And again, the general concept was to treat your hybrids just like you would your irons. Again, I can't stress the point enough that people get the hybrids in their hands and they start treating them like fairway woods. Well, it can work for those lower lofted hybrids like we found out in the previous video, but with these higher lofted, shorter shafted hybrids, we need to be able to understand that all we're doing is letting the club work for us. The, the bulk of the head is going to help diminish the amount of fat shots that you hit, the perimeter weighting of the club, and the low center of gravity is going to help with ultimate forgiveness, getting the ball up in the air. So looking at this, this is a six hybrid. I'm going to talk about setup position from face on, and then we're gonna hit a couple shots from down the line. So with the six hybrid, what we want to be able to do, because there is still a significant amount of loft on the club, we want to be able to still hit down on the ball. Now, I know that might sound scary to some of you seniors out there, but trust me, the design of this club is specific to help alleviate that, that tension between the club head, the ground, and your hands. So with this six hybrid, I've got the ball relatively just left of center in my stance. So looking at it from face one, it's just slightly left of center. My hands are set forward. So you'll look at the shaft. The shaft has forward lean in the shaft, just like it would if I were swinging a six iron. Now in this position, I'll, I'll make my assessment of what my shoulders and upper body look like. Okay. If we look at it with that forward press in my hands, you kind of see the line of my right arm and the line of my left arm come up and it almost kind of resembles an uppercase Y. So between the golf club shaft and the lines of my arms, um, actually in this perspective, it's almost a lowercase. So it's, it's perfectly fine to have that, okay? We just wanna make sure that we have a, a nice sound position at address. And when we take a look at our actual spine, we're hitting down on the ball. If we're hitting down on the ball, a vertical spine is a very good start, okay? What happens with vertical positioning in the spine from this perspective is it allows me to swing down on the ball, all right? When my spine angle starts to tilt, kind of like if we were to set up with a driver or a long hybrid or fairway wood, we want that tilt and we want to maintain it because that helps shallow us out, okay? Well, with these shorter shafted clubs, and the excessive loft, we need to hit down on the ball. So that's really going to be the main difference between swinging 
an iron or a high lofted hybrid opposed to the fairway woods lower lofted hybrids and, and driver is going to be your spine position. So ball position just left of center. I've got forward press with the lowercase y visually from this, this perspective. And from here, I really want to feel like I'm maintaining my spine position as I take it back and as I make that return into impact. So let's hit a couple shots here and see how that goes. So I'll get the ball just left of center. I've got my forward position with that lowercase y. My spine feels very vertical to the ground and I'm gonna go and hit. And there you could clearly hear the sound. I definitely made ground contact there just after I made contact with the ball and it yielded great distance, great power. So let's put this to the challenge, all right? Let's make the mistake that a lot of golfers do, particularly Singer, um, that is based on what I've seen as an instructor, is you get that bulky club head and you go to fairway wood setup. So we're, we're gonna hit this shot with the fairway wood setup. Now, mind you, that shot I just hit traveled a total distance of 171 yards. Now, if I go and play the ball kind of in the same position, but I get that tilt, so I'm tilting my spine more to the right. I think you could hear it there. I topped it. I mean, it did work out for me, but it was a very unbalanced swing. It's a swing that I'm not going to be able to rely on. I'm going to do it again a couple of times just to prove my point that it's not that consistent. And you could really hear it there. So what happens when you start playing that spine position, it's really a matter of timing. You can either get it perfectly right or you can get it perfectly wrong. In the worst case, you're just going to hit the top of the ball at the bottom of the club and then shake your head and try to go do it again or maybe just chuck that club to the side, never use it again for the rest of the round. So big tip when it comes to the higher lofted hybrids, with the shorter shafts, we need to treat them like irons. When you're practicing on the range, treat it like an iron, don't treat it like a fairway wood, and you should find some great success. Thanks again, and I hope to see you guys soon.